right, this is the part of the uh, demonstration uh, where I will install Berry Boot to the SD card for the Raspberry Pi. We're going to just go ahead and format this and make sure it is blank. So we'll need our partitioner. Uh, we just got to make sure that the SD card is formatted for the uh, FAT32. It says in the instructions, just make sure it's file allocation table, which is FAT. But I like to make sure FAT32 seems to be uh, plenty adequate. And I am not using Microsoft Windows. <coughs> I'm using Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu Linux, which is based on Debian Linux. You know, I really like Linux. Uh, Linux Mint is really simple. Put in the uh, what I want to name the uh, the, the volume, um, which is XBMC um, for the uh, SD card. Is complete. If you wonder what those sounds were, that's just the sounds that the software makes. All right, now let's see what we got. It's blank here. And it is uh, very boot. We, I believe I copied over the latest files last night, but let me just make sure we got the uh, latest. All right, and what we do is we just take okay, eight twenty-five. That's the latest. I just got my own way of doing it. Uh, extract the archive. take these files copy them over to the SD card and um, this is all we need to do it's got uh, the files that it needs on the SD card uh, ready to use on the Raspberry Pi now this is not an installation exactly this just means it has the installation files Oh, the, the elf files there and then it will give just a basic um, functionality like I said this well like I said this is 5 meg right here uh, it's actually compressed and it knows how to deal with it safely remove and this concludes this part here we will start next with the actual installation on the Raspberry Pi itself with this SD card loaded into the Pi.